Savior loves me so He will hold me fast Hey everybody, Wade McNutt here Pianomeditation.com Our song today is He Will Hold Me Fast God, we just welcome you into this lesson We pray for the student wherever they are In the world We just pray What it says in the verse When I fear, my faith will fail you will hold me fast. God, we believe in you. We have faith in you. We love you. In your name, amen. All right, so this song is going to be in the key of G. And uh, I'm using, uh, if you're using cheat sheets, I'm going to use the last page in there, which is a blank sheet. Cheat sheets don't contain songs. They just have uh, chords and different ways to sound great playing chord piano, playing by the ear, playing by the ear, by your ear. And if you want to vote for future songs, go to the description, same place where you can find a cheat sheet, says email list, just sign up for that, and I will send you messages about all that cool stuff. All right, let's move on this song. Starting with the intro, well, the song's kind of in a weird a, a time signature, so I'll talk you through uh, all of this, and it changes as we go, you can also find some lyrics uh, and chords below the video so you can copy and paste them into your Word document, format it looking all nice. So starting off. Our little intro thing that we're going to do here on uh, the recording it has a kind of a drawn out uh, violin or cello thing with the piano and it's kind of out of time so we're going to start where it starts in time so you start here on a g chord and you're going to do this you start on g a d and resolve to that b and you go one two three four and on five six we're going to go five six so down here in the f d d's in the bass Five, six, one, two, three, four. So we land on this cool little uh, C add nine chord. It's a regular C. We're adding in the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And that's why it's an add nine. And then on the five, six, you'll go five, six, G, A. So one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. You can play this pinky with it too if you want to. Five, six, one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then it starts into the verse. So we're looking at those uh, chords from the, the cheat sheets, um, having you draw in there. Um, so on the normal key of G, it has you starting up here for G. On this one, I'm going to have you be here. And remember, in the cheat sheets, uh, it's not like the only way to play the piano. It's just a, it's a great way to uh, put chords together. So I'm going to switch it up a little uh, for this one so we'll be in a different position. So here's our G chord, G, B, D. Play a G and uh, D in the bass. And remember, in the bass, you can either play this in a fifth away or you can play octaves whatever you want to do whatever seems the best um, a lot of it depends on if you're building through the song or whatnot so first chord G when I fear my now it goes to this G slash B anything after the slash is talking to our bass player so all we do is switch our bass note to some B's faith will Fail. And now we're at this C chord. And uh, I will play through this in a second. I just want to get your chords kind of flowing. C, E, G. And uh, just so you know, beginning of the lesson, C, E, G is a normal G C chord. All we're going to do is take that G, boop, put it on the bottom. Uh, same chord, we're just inverting it. It's a beautiful thing about the uh, cheat sheets as well. Just kind of keeping chords close together, together where they sound more professional. So fail. Then we have a C slash E, so all we do is move our bass player. Christ will hold. Now, on this D chord coming up here, D, A, 
F sharp, inverted D chord. Um, I'm gonna drop my thumb and play the bass notes here. So all I'm playing is rock and roll. I'm saying I, I do that a lot, um, and it just feels right. So that's something you want to incorporate. If not, you can just play like this. Whatever you want to do. Oh, hold me fast. All right, back to G. And now we've uh, got through a lot of the chords already. When the tempter would prevail, he will hold fast. All right, now we have an E minor. What I'm gonna do is make this an E minor seven. So normal E minor would be this. I'm just gonna add in uh, this D to make it a minor seven. And that way my hand can stay, notice, hey, I'm on a G chord. My hand can stay there and my bass note uh, play the E. I could never, D slash F sharp, keep my hold. Through life's fear. So now we have a B chord, B, D sharp, F sharp, and we have a uh, B in the bass. Fearful path. Isn't that nice though? Look how we're playing C and we're straight to the B chord. We're not like jumping up here, or jumping down there, or jumping everywhere. Just sounds so much better. Fearful path. We're gonna go ahead and make that an E minor seven again. For my love is often cold. Told me fast. Cool. So let's get through uh, uh, that verse real quick. I'll just play and sing so you can get the uh, vibe of it and count a little bit for you. And I'm going to start. No, we'll just start right on the verse. I'll give you one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Six. Oh, when there's my melody note. One, two, three, four, five, six. When I fear my faith will fail, two, three, four. Christ will hold me fast, two, three, four. When the tempter would prevail, two, three, four. He will hold me fast, two, three, four. I could never keep my hold, two, three, four. Through life's fearful path, two, three, four. For my love is off. chorus. All right, so you notice how I counted off in six, but then I said fours in there. It's because the song changes time signatures throughout it. Uh, but that should help you uh, flow. It's, it's always that first part that's in six. When, when, my fear, when I fear my faith will fail. But learn the song, learn how the, the melody flows, all that stuff. You won't even have to think about the time signature uh, if you just are really familiar with the song and can sing it and be able to flow with it. Cool. So that's how the verse is, is going to feel. Let's get into the chorus real quick. Chords we know here. One, I'll give you four because we're in 4-4 four, four right now. One, two, ready. He will hold me fast to three, four. He will hold me fast two three for my savior all right so here's an a minor seven what we're gonna do is play a c e and a g right there to make it that seven probably gonna play a and e in the bass savior loves me so and that's one of the times when it switches to uh, to that six count. Um, but again, if you know the song, it's not going to throw you off. For my keep for my savior. Yeah, keep losing the melody. For my savior loves me so. Two, three, four. He will hold me fast. And then we're back to that intro. One, two, three, four, five, six. 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 
All right, so just quickly through uh, that chorus in time. One, two, ready, and he will hold me fast. Three, four. He will hold me fast. Three, four. For my Savior loves me so. Two, three, four. He will hold me fast. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now, when it goes to verse three, it starts off on that E minor. So we'll go ahead and make it a seven. For my life he bled and you can just hold these out. For my life he bled and died. For Christ will hold me fast to three. Justice has been satisfied to three. Four. He will hold me fast. Raised with him in this life, three, four. He will hold me fast, three, four. Till our faith is turned to sight, three. When he comes again, one, two, course, he will hold me fast. Sweet. And then we go through that uh, chorus progression again. Um, on the uh, last time, uh, yeah, it's just gonna flow like it does until we get to the very end. Uh, and there's one new chord in there. Uh, now on the recording, it goes back into that sort of out of time, uh, different feel, uh, where the violin or the, the cello or whatever is playing. Uh, so those chords, if you want to play that ending, is just like one, two, three. Four, then there are A minor seven, two, three, four, C, two, G slash B, A minor seven, then this D seven sus. Hmm, that's a fun one. Here's a normal D chord. To make it sus, you move the middle note, this F sharp to here, and then you add in the C to make it a seven. And if you're looking at it like this, here's a regular D. You may that middle to here, and you add in the seven. We're just inverting it, putting that D on top. It's a lot to think about. You're like, that's too much to think about. Well, then don't think about it. Just do it. Cool? So get that down in your hands. Sweet. So we'll play through all of this together at the end. Uh, you need to just focus on moving in between those chords, really knowing the melody, knowing the flow of this song. Uh, so that you'll be ready to play and sing. But if you can't quickly move in between these different chords, then you're not ready, all right? So practice maybe two chords at a time, G to A minor seven, G, A minor seven. Practice G slash B to C. G slash, uh, D slash F sharp to G. You know, practice in between those two. Get to where you can move in between the chords slowly and then start working your way through the song. And work through it slow enough where you can do those changes. Right, we're going to talk about doing a little bit of feel, some of the stuff that you uh, might hear in the recording. So a lot of times uh, when you're on that G chord, you'll hear them. They'll, they'll put this A in. So they're doing kind of this roll thing. For example, uh, beginning of verse one. Christ will hold me fast. Right? So they roll out the chord instead of hitting it all, all together. Christ will hold me fast. So that's a cool way to add some pretty stuff uh, to the song. Um, there's another little neat thing they do. Let's see. When the tempter would prevail, he will hold me fast. Right? We talk about all the time with cheat sheets looking at that uh, pentatonic section. If you have those, look in uh, the key of G and you'll see that pentatonic scale. This is shape one that I talk about all the time where C, uh, G, A, B, D. And they're just using that. To do a cool little thing right there. Christ will hold me 
me fast to ba da 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 into the E minor chord. I could never keep my hope through life's fearful path. Cool. So that's a little neat stuff that you can do. Fills uh, are done. The best place for them is like those held out long notes. Through life's fearful path. Because that gives you time to kind of play something, fill up the space where there's no words or something. Full path. Oh, that was pretty. Um, fearful path. For my love. So that's shape two where your pinky's on G. And you move to shape one. Anyway, that's something for you to play with, uh, pentatonic scale-wise, um, and it'll sound really neat as you kind of work through this. Now, another neat thing you hear is heading into the chorus. He must hold me fast. So this is a neat thing. So first is a roll, just rolling up the chord. He will hold me fast. One, two, three. However you want to do it. And then you're going to go C, E, E, C. And you're just going to go down these uh, white notes and keep the spacing in your hand. And a count on that is Fast, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, into the chorus, right? So doing the roll with it too. He, oops, sorry. He must hold me fast. One, two, roll. One, two, one, two, one, two. One, two Chorus, hold me fast. All right, so that's just uh, another good thing that you can throw in there, and you hear that leading into almost every uh, chorus, so that's a real pretty little thing. So work on those little fills uh, to help fill up the space and just make it even get fancier. And speaking of fancy, I talked about doing those uh, different rolls a second ago. Any of the chords... Any of those chords that we have going, you can roll. Uh, so let, let me give you an example. Uh, let's say verse two. Those he saves me are his delight. Christ will hold me fast. See, I'm rolling all of those chords. It's all the same notes. I'm just going boom, 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 up this way. When the tempter would prevail, Christ me fast, right? Roll, 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 roll. So that's something you can add kind of throughout the song. Don't overdo it uh, and use it more when the song's, uh, uh, you know, getting louder and you're building. Uh, when it's softer, just hold out chords. Faith will fail. Cool. And one more little thing that I kind of hear uh, the player doing. Sometimes they'll uh, hit a chord kind of early. I call it punch chords. When I fear my faith will fail. One, two, three. See how this lands a little before that? One, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, ah, da, da, da. When I fear my faith will fail too. Christ will hold me fast. The tempter prevail. All right. Ah, sometimes you'll hear them do that. Another thing you can add in, just give me all a bunch of options since y'all uh, ask for some more advanced stuff here and there. All right, let's play through this thing. Are y'all ready? I'll give you six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two. When I fear my faith will fail to three, four, Christ will hold me fast. When the 
tempter would prevail to three, four, he will hold me fast. I could never keep my hold three, four, through life's fearful path. Two, three, for my love is often cold. Two, three, he must hold me fast. Two, saves are his delight two, three, Christ will hold me fast two, three, precious in his holy sight two, three, four, he will hold me fast he'll not let my soul be lost three, his promises shall last two, three, brought by him in such a has been satisfied he will hold me fast raised with him to win his life two, three, four. he will hold me fast two, three, till our faith is turned to sight two, three. when he comes at last All right, a lot of stuff in that lesson. Hope you got a lot out of it. God bless y'all. Sign up for the email list. Wade McNutt here, pianomeditation.com. Don't forget to subscribe. Love y'all guys. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.